said you coach um, yeah. girls. How what's what's the the biggest sort of um, problem and to, problem you have with coaching girls? Like which? The, sorry, let me re rephrase that. Yeah, sure. What's the biggest problem they have yes. in matching someone? Yeah. So what's the biggest one mainly there? for for the women matching someone and getting a date is fine. Yeah. It's mainly getting the commitment, right. getting the serious investment. Right, right. I feel like for, and you can tell me, I feel like for guys, the hardest part is getting the opportunity with women. Yeah. Many women get plenty of opportunity, but they mm -hmm. don't get the serious commitment from the guy. Right, okay. And so generally a lot of the work that I do with the women who I coach mm. is about dating in a way that leads to relationship investment. Right, makes sense. That leads to the commitment. That's usually right. the biggest, that's the biggest obstacle. Makes I'll sense. Okay, cool. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, so- might be, must be quite hard sort of like that's the other party giving commitment so what would what what kind of advice do you give to a girl mm -hmm. to gain that investment that they need like yeah. what does it take yeah it's a good yeah. question good question because <laughs> i know what it take a girl to get my investment so i want to hear what you say okay cool I mean, let's I mean, see I'm if curious, it lines up and you can tell me what yours yeah, is yeah yeah so i would say so first thing mm. is that i always encourage them to not sleep with a guy on the first date. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that'll kill me. And I know guys don't like that. Oh no. But it's true because, okay, the way I explain it is this, yeah. right? When you go to the cinema, yeah, right? You go watch a film. Which is the you, worst date, by the way. <laughs> it's the worst date. Yeah, because you can't talk. You're just watching the film, right? Yeah. But when you go to the cinema, right? Mm. You know, they usually have trailers, yeah. right? If they put trailers at the end of the film, would anyone see them? Yeah. Would they? they do that sometimes. Yeah, you know, but like would they though? BTS stuff. Oh, no, no, but yeah, not yeah. about the yeah, film, yeah, like trailers, trailers of yeah, other yeah. films. Now, do you know what? They start doing that recently, you know? Trailers of yeah, other films? Yeah, so like, yeah, so like Universal will put their, their next film that's come out in a week, like at the end. They do oh, that. Film? Really? But that might be just premieres, actually. Okay, I yeah, think that's yeah, premieres. Yeah, premieres. Yeah, premieres, yeah. Premieres, yeah. yeah. But, okay. generally, but generally, people don't. Okay, cool. Like, because yeah. people aren't staying past the credits to yeah, then watch yeah, yeah. trailers of other sure, films. Sure, sure, sure. They put the trailers before the film starts. Okay, cool. Right? Yeah. And that's because we are most engaged mm. in the moments prior to getting what we want. Right, okay. So, because what happens is you go to the cinema, mm. you, you watch the trailers, yeah. and you go, oh, that, look, that film looks good. When that comes out, I'll come back to cinema, mm. right? Then you watch your film and you go home. Mm. So when you come back to cinema to watch from a trailer, you're yeah. reinvesting. Right, okay. Right? Makes sense. That reinvesting is what builds the relationship. Oh, okay. So for women, the way I describe it is, the guy takes an interest in you because he's physically attracted to you. That's the film. <laughs> the emotional intimacy <laughs> That's is funny. the trailers before the film. Right. Because it's like saying, oh, if you put your trailers at the end of the film, it's like, what you're like saying, oh, why is any, why aren't people staying to watch that? It's because they only came to watch the film, then they're going to go home. Right, okay. So it's about creating the space for the emotional intimacy to form yeah, but, as you create, as you build the physical intimacy. Yeah, but can I just say, so <laughs> if you're watching the trailer and then you watch the main film, yep. you're already getting the film that day. Yeah, but the difference yeah. is- <laughs> You're already getting the full film. You're coming back to see the trailer- you're, going, you're coming back to, you're revisiting the cinema to see the trailer happen just before the main activity. No, I hear that. Yeah. But if you watched the film yeah. and you didn't see the trailer, you wouldn't come back to the cinema. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm dead. I know what you're saying, because as a guy, this yeah. doesn't play to guys' ears, right? Because yeah. we want it on the first date. Yeah. Well, not always. I mean, it's, uh, it's quite a mutual thing, but for me, if we've got the chemistries going on, you know, we've had a sick night, you know, we're both looking trim. You've got the like, okay, smiles in. Let me, you're on the sofa and you give a cuddle. Like, no, 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 you can't. I mean, if. No, that, I wouldn't that, say that go back to his house. Though. Tease. Yeah, but I would say don't go back to his house on the first what? date. No. Let me, okay, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you what a question. What if it's late? Huh? At night. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> you can walk into a what? door. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, I'm coaching the women here. Uh, if I was coaching the guy, yeah. I'd be saying something different. All right, cool. But this enough. is to help women get what they want. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. You go on 10 dates, right? All beautiful women. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. All lovely women. Yeah. Nine of those dates have drinks, get tipsy, come yeah. back to yours. Yeah, yeah. You sleep together. Yeah. One out of the 10 mm. goes, Stefan, as tempting as that is. Yeah. I really like you, but I'd really like to continue this another time. Are you telling I'd me- like, I, Why are you are playing you, games? You think that's games? I'd like, why are you playing games? I was like, 
You want it as much as I do. We've had such a good time. The chemistry's there. Why play a game? It's not It's not a game. It's exercise and discipline. Oh, exercise and discipline. Exercise oh. and discipline. Because <laughs> the thing yeah. is, you're going to be like, yes. if if that's the only mm. one out of the 10 that does mm. that, immediately you're going to start seeing her a little bit differently already. Yeah. Now, that's not saying she might not be the one that you end up choosing. But can I just say something to you? Go for it. You already know, like, if it's going to be a fling, a one night stand or a, a serious relationship. From the time you meet that person, you already know, you already both secretly know, oh, this is going to be a bit of fun. Or do you know what? Because you know by the chat, you just know, is it a quick or is it a long? You know, I you think, already know. I think there's three categories that mm. guys put girls in. Yeah. Category is just fun. Yeah. Something that is kind of on the fence. <laughs> and then one that's like, this is, right? <laughs> and then this is going to be serious. Yeah, for sure. If a girl goes into category where a guy just knows it's going to be fun. Yeah. There's nothing she can really do about that. No. If she goes in category where it could go either way, this is where her dating in a way can make or break the relationship. Yeah. And then there's one girl that you're like, we all know that girl where it's like, look, I, I know if I'm going to date you, I know it's going to be a serious thing. I oh, know right. you're not messing around like that. Yeah. Now, I think for a lot of women, they, a lot of women don't come across as that girl straight away. They're in the middle yeah. bracket. Yeah, yeah. Of like, it I've could go either way. I've been quite a few times actually. Yeah, exactly. Um, the next thing I would say that helps a girl, and you can tell me what you think about this, is adding value to his life outside of the sex. Yeah, for sure, hundred percent. Because I think a lot of, it's not their fault, but I think a lot of women think, oh, if I spend time with him and have sex with him, that's gonna make him commit to me. It's like, nah, nah. because every girl does that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You it's like, are you a place of peace for him? When yeah. you're at his house, do you help, you know, maybe yeah. clear up? Yeah, yeah, this Do you offer gonna, to cook? I was gonna say this to you as well, you know, like it's so important. A hundred percent, like yeah. how about you? Like what would you, what makes you commit to a girl? Yeah, like, do you know what? I was, I was actually gonna say the same thing. So like, yeah. You know, like, oh, remembering what we conversated about, mm -hmm. you know, like times like, oh yeah, like something like, oh, it's your birthday next week. I'm like, how do you remember that? I said this to you once after like four drinks. Mm -hmm. How do you remember it's my birthday next week? Did you write it down? Yeah. So anyway, stuff like that made, made me like, okay. She remembers stuff, remembers my mum's name and what she does for a living. Mm -hmm. And you know, when, when my last holiday was and my favorite holiday destination comes yeah. around, wants to help. Oh, let me do the dishes for you or... Let me hoover, let me put- oh, You've this, got dry cleaning. She's like, let me do that for you. Yeah, let me put this, get the, you know, the froze on the sofa and do it their way. Like stuff like that. It's nice. Like, she like brings you a candle. Or, it's like, oh, I just thought you'd like a nice Yeah, little gifts, room. like thoughtful gifts. Like, like they remembered what my favorite drink was. Brings me a Purdy's. No, I said that once. How do you remember I like a Purdy's? Mm -hmm. There you go. I just thought I'd bring you a Purdy's. Like it costs two pounds, but that two pounds is is something that would make someone. And this is what, ladies, you heard it from the man himself. Yeah, like, yeah. And this These is what I'm things, saying. Yeah. I think a lot of, I think some women, they think, mm. well, as long as I rock his socks off in the bedroom, he'll be mine. Nah. And it's like, he'll nah, have a fun time. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're just another person yeah. who can do that. For sure. Do you know 100%. what I mean? So adding the value. And the last thing I would say, mm. the last thing I would say, <laughs> you're not going to like this, <laughs> Go on. is um, she needs to spend as much non-sexual time as hit with him as much sexual time. Yeah, no, I'm happy with that. So like it, if every day is just a Netflix and chill day, yeah, 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 that you're heading to the casual zone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's boring, yeah. But like, you know, maybe there's one time you'd go around his and then maybe you meet for lunch, then you go separate oh, ways. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then maybe he cooks you dinner. And then after that, maybe another day you go for a walk or 100%, something. Yeah. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, I've got, yeah. Yeah, because um, I think with that, it's like, okay, you're building the physical intimacy. Yeah, no, of course, yeah. Building, with the emotional intimacy. 100% I agree with you, yeah. yeah. I, I actually agree with you on that one. Okay, yeah, come on, we'll yeah. take so, it, I probably bro. shocked you. We'll yeah. take it. No, because I'm, I'm, sometimes girls want to sleep with me and I, I'm not, I'm like, I've actually got discipline now to be like, nah. Okay. Like, I actually don't because I don't want to give the wrong impression as well. I'm like, I like you, but I don't want to sleep with you. Like, do I you get, think you sleep with I get girl? this. I get, I get like this sometimes. Yeah. It feels quite nice as well to be able to tell a woman no. <laughs> it's like power. Do you know what I mean? Okay, I'm going to yeah, have two questions. Then they go crazy on me. Yeah, they go crazy. I was literally about yeah. to say, like, they go crazy. How, so what's now, your experience with that? Yeah, because crazy. So, like, I've got to be careful. I'm like, oh, I'm not free today. <laughs> no, now I'm like, I'm not free today. Or next week. 
<laughs> bro, I, it's, yeah, no, I'm not even being rude or anything. It's just like, yeah. So when you have that matter of power, I think it actually drives them crazy. I'll be, I'll yeah, be honest. Because there's you, not man. many men that will say no. Like, I've, <laughs> I've, the, I've had that exact experience yeah. where, like, times I've said no. Yeah. And I'm just being completely real. Yeah. The more attractive she is, if I say no, the crazier she is. Oh wow. She can't yeah, yeah. handle rejection because they're not used to it. Yeah, they're not. But yeah. I've had a girl, and this was a girl from Hinge. Oh, I've wow. I've had a girl be like, if you don't have sex with me tonight, I will never see you again. Oh wow. <laughs> disgusting. I was That's like disgusting. Wow. I was like, you're gonna try and blackmail me. Wow. So I had sex with her. Oh, but the point you? is, <laughs> no, I'm joking. I, I did. Top, but hundred <laughs> percent. Oh good. I was in a different space then. Yeah, good, good, good. But yeah, it's it's oh, actually wow. it's actually mad how yeah, yeah, yeah because i think because girls especially if they're really attractive they're yeah. not used to sexual rejection sure as guys try and tribulations as we become a man and trying to understand women like yeah it happens we get yeah, rejected yeah, yeah, right yeah, yeah, so sure. we know how to handle that easier yeah yeah, yeah cool. but if they're not used to it it's yeah, like it's hard, it's hard, such yeah, an they, offense they, for them they, yeah they don't take it very and sometimes well. it may not even be about them it's just like it may just be about you like yeah, you said, yeah, you don't yeah sure know. like sometimes you just want to take it easy <laughs> yeah when you say you oh, tired. Need... I'm just tired sometimes. You're just tired. Yeah, I just want to chill, right? Stop. I don't want to do anything. Just yeah. allow me, man. Yeah, just read me a book, <laughs> Allow me, man. Just read yeah, me a book. Give me a massage, maybe. <laughs> yeah. I mean. 100%. Right? I did that value. Right? 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 You give me. Because I don't have sex. You're like, yeah. nah, but you yeah. can. You can yeah. Yeah. You know. <laughs> uh, it's crazy. So when you say um, you don't want to give the wrong impression, what impression oh, do like, you mean by that? Because, like, some girls are like, right, I own you now. Do you know what I mean? If they think they can get you every time, okay. like, oh, I own you now, calling you up. What are you doing? What are you doing? What? Are you? Like, we're, we're just chilling. Like, we're right. not, we're not boyfriend and girlfriend yet. Yes. But obviously if I give them what they want as well, then it becomes a game of like, I own him now. Mm. Like, why are you doing this? Why are you posting that? Like, no, let's not start with this business. Okay. Well, just because I said, yeah, let's have sex. So like, yeah, that's, that's what I mean interesting and how long but how obviously when you remember when you've got a girlfriend it's a complete different conversation yeah of course yeah 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 of course but it's like finding out what girl is right for you I, like i said i don't want to rush into any relationship anymore i'm so vigilant of who i spend my energy time with and who i give my life to yeah because i waste i'm not it weren't a waste but it's like two or three years of my life like disappeared mm. you know what I mean so yeah. I'm definitely not going down that road again yeah no yeah. I hear you what, what's one thing you look for in a woman now that you didn't look for before yeah just some trust trust loyalty um, gotta be caring and I, I like a girl that actually has a career like or has some sort of motivation drive okay. for something like okay. not just like yeah it's important because otherwise it just sucks your energy you know, I, I, I'm, I, I like to help people a lot as well. So I spend half my time helping them than doing, than them helping me or building something together. Yes. So it's important that they've got their own path, their yes. own flight path. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. Um, was, let me see. Oh, what's one thing that makes you open up to a woman to, about how you're feeling? How do you, what, what makes you open up to a girl? Cause I do think you know that's, what? Yes. that's something that girls always ask. Yeah. So I found it really hard, especially being a Cancerian, um, mm. Yeah, apparently, like, we keep it inside and stuff. I think men in general do. But yeah. when I went on this show two years ago called Written in the Stars, it's basically Love Island, but with astrology. Okay. And you've got three astrologers on the show, and it's 24-hour filming, mm. and they actually tell you, like, why you done this. They pick up bits from the past and, like, your childhood, and they be like, you did this. And they actually help you build as a person. One of the things that I found hard was talking how I felt. So they, they made me talk. To, to get my match like how I felt okay. on camera okay. so it was the hardest thing at the time to do but now in real life I do mm. it easy okay like, I'll do it easy like so yeah. you just are you just more I'm open so now? open uh, yeah I'm, a, I'm just open book okay yeah, yeah it's better yeah yeah I, I express good things bad things yeah. what I'm annoyed about what you know positive negatives everything yeah like, I can actually talk now like yeah. it's good like that's, and girls like it They're like oh you communicate yeah you know I mean? it's good it's good yeah. what would you say to guys who feel that they struggle to trust a girl with that vulnerable side of themselves what would you say yeah. to them to how to move forward with that yeah it's a hard one actually because I'm I'm still like that like if I've done bad things in the past I always reflect it on someone else sure but it's just one of those things that communicating is important like yes. when you have that matter of trust with someone and you can communicate and you know they're communicating back whether whether it's a stupid thing and you're communicating like you can talk about it and they won't 
they won't look down on you. That, that's a nice thing to have. So yeah. communication is key for me. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Almost like you sharing something and seeing how she reacts is yeah. almost a way to vet not, her. Not, not vulnerability. It's just more like growing, like building something. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I get that. Hope you really enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full episode where that clip is from, then we need to click right here where you can watch the full episode. And if you're ready to claim your man today, enroll in my program below and I'll see you there. Wishing you an amazing day.